the priest had a problem similar to what I had in the microphone. So, just before the problem, he said, and the Lord be with you, to which the congregation responded, and with you too far. And then there were media, Kanyonga. to which the crowd answered and we you too far. That is, there the is something wrong with you too far. <laughs> so, uh, I greet you in Jesus' name. It is fun to be in the Lord. And that's why I'm a Christian. Deliberately so. So, um, I bring you greetings from my, my wife and our children. Receive them in Jesus' name. Um, I was told to come and share with you the word of God regarding academic excellence. Um, I'm an alumni of this university. Um, the sad thing is, not a lot has changed. The road. But it should be a prayer. And our academic um, our academic endeavors should actually result in transformation. So I was told that today we are going to share on academic excellence. And then I've further been told that I think you guys begin your exams on the 27th of this month. Uh, but fear not, God is with you. Be not afraid because he's your boy. He will help you, yes, he will strengthen you. He will uphold you with, your, with his victorious right hand of victory. The Bible says the hidden things, they belong to God. But the revealed things belong to us and our children, that we may glorify God forever. May the God of secrets be to you. Question number one, and the correct answer. Question number two, and the correct answer. Question number three, even put answers to the most difficult of questions. Because you remember, there was a time in the king faced a problem and he called all the magicians of the day, the philosophers of the day, and they didn't have an answer. But when he called upon someone in whom was the spirit of God, right there, there was an answer. Amen? Amen. Now, let me begin by And it 
it refers to excellence of any kind. And then there are many, there are fellows who are excellent in many things. There are fellows who are excellent in taking very much tea. That is highlighted for them. There are fellows Chakuna Nawao of the same WhatsApp group. That is highlighted. There are fellows who are excellent in playing football. That is highlighted. But I believe today we are focused on highlighted in academics. But it may also be moral virtue. And I hope that different from other people who have excelled academically and yet gone on to become criminals, you will have moral virtue. So that you have doctors who are excellent, but they are also godly. Lawyers who are excellent in terms of academics, but they are not criminals. I was chatting with uh, your committee members and I was telling them that in Kenya and in much of Africa, you find somebody studying accounting and then they do criminal accounting option, for which they don't have a certificate, but they show the works. They put one what is happening on this road. One of the other speaking fully and then Barabara Ami the Isha to And then you find something. And then again you can an answer. What is that? And there's a contractor. See that is criminal engineering. <laughs> and then you have criminal medicine. And then you have criminal law. And then you have criminal accounting. Where zeros are added and others subtracted. But may we excel so that we are clever, but we are godly. The day that happens in Kenya, change. The day that happens in Africa, change. The day that happens in Moy University, change. Now, there was a philosopher called Aristotle, and Aristotle states that Arete is the capacity of providing and preserving good things, a capacity of conferring many great benefits. We say the reason is that excellence. If you go to a place where people have embraced excellence in engineering, like you know Dubai, Dubai has a lot been in the news. Recently, see you. Very excellent buildings that rise very high into the sky and they don't fall. I'm going to be clear. I'm going to be clear. I'm going to be clear. So that people can feel vertically. They can't sit and build horizontally because horizontally is a road. For crying out loud, they can't sit and build holes right because the hole collapses and burns people alive. That is not a record. And then Plato also looks at a record, which is excellence, and he associated it with moral excellence. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, and verse 10. I believe the Bible says that we are his workmanship, created by God through Christ to show forth excellence. My prayer is when I report on duty and I go to theater and I operate on a lady, let's say civilian section, when I teach her back, you know, she, she look at herself and not even see where I act. Because of his workmanship, created for good works. Kenya is crying out for men and women who are the workmanship of God. Yes, they go to Moy University. But then they are his workmanship. And there's a good work waiting for them. In 
engineering students, there's a lot of work waiting for you. People will look at it and marvel and wonder and give glory to God. Those of you who are doing teaching and you let up being scholars of repute, may you teach like Jesus would teach and produce results. In the Garden of Eden, the first mandate for academic excellence was given. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 and 28, the Bible speaks about how God created man and he created woman and he put them in the Garden of Eden and he gave them a mandate. He told them to rule, he told them to dominate, he told them to subdue the earth. And where that mandate has been grasped, where it has been understood, where it has been pursued with a passion, what was the mocker? Do you know the Netherlands is below sea level zero? In fact, the Dutch, in their pride, have said, God created the heaven and the earth. But the Dutch, Created the Netherlands. Oh, the is idea. If you put again, it's the Italian idea. But their fellows, they live in very arid areas. But they have, through academic excellence, learned to harness nature. Israel doesn't have rains, like we have rain here. But they are the ones who came up with drip irrigation. Have you ever seen a picture of family in Israel? And you never see it. All that God will grant us to us to grasp the Genesis chapter 1 of 28 mandates. To understand how things happen, why they happen, when they happen, if they happen and to prepare. Fellows who have grasped this mandate, they looked up at the moon and have people walking on the moon. The vehicles that we see today, the vehicles that we drive, the aeroplanes that we enjoy traveling in, somebody understood the Genesis chapter 1, verse 28 to mandate. The internet, there are many things waiting for someone who will grasp that mandate and excel. In the Garden of Eden, in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 9, God put before Adam and gave trees. There were two trees in particular of interest. The first one was the tree of life, and the other tree was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They opted for the tree of knowledge of good and of evil at the expense of the tree of life and the rest is history. We ran into the kind of problems that we have. Now, you look at the term academics, it is a term that relates to learning by reading and studying. When you read with understanding you learn. And then when you study, you apply yourself to a subject, a topic. That is academics. Now, I wish for us to look at academic excellence as a service to God. And I submit that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 and 28, that mandate given to Adam and Eve is impossible without academic excellence. There's no way you can rule the earth without academic excellence. There's no way you can subdue it. There is no way you can manage it. 
There is no way at all. So for us to excel, before we go to heaven, in this mandate, we must excel academically. In Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10, the Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. There is no way you can excel academically if you don't fear God. If you fear God, how do you fear God and you have a Magenta?
chosen. And because of that, it has profited me. How is it profitable? It is profitable for reproof. Reproof tells you what I am. I'm talking about fire. They are telling the word of God tells me, I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you. That is reproof. It corrects me. That is profit. It teaches me. That is profit. That the man of God might be perfect and equipped for every good work. So memorization, reading, and diligent study of the word of God, as well as memorizing and reading and diligently studying learning areas that enable us to understand God and His word better, such as English. But this is, you know, get the
Psalms 119 and verse 130, the entrance and the unfolding of your words, they give light. The unfolding gives understanding, gives discernment, gives comprehension to the simple. There, there are some translations that put it very well. The entrance of your wife gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. May that happen to you. Now let me touch on the aspect of balance. It's important for us to balance our academics with life and with ministry. In my short life, I've seen people lose their minds. Here we go. 
you are on ice. So you are going to be on ice. They can't phone me. And then, so you are going to be on ice. So sister, go away. Go away. You are going to be on ice. You are going to be on ice. You are going to be on ice. Lafu brother za hoi ye Haki, endea hebe ni Wachanga na hizi za fundi Stress Fundi mbeza huko the ten of you Alafu wana kima measurements Alafu wana kifanya his very clever hani
phase, the exams that are coming next week, as you face exams in life, may you be wise and not foolish. And then for our sisters that are here, you know, I, I challenge medical students. I look at them and I see my daughter in them. And I tell them, I'll never quite comprehend the story of beauty and the beast. I see very clever, beautiful young ladies. Then they fall for beasts. They seem to have the French say election. But if you were to take a picture, then when I did it, what type of hair? Very beautiful lady. How can that be? I'm going to teach her some of that. Oppo F11 Pro.